Hi, my name is Beth Griffin and I'm, I'm an acupuncturist here at All in One Acupuncture and Wellness Center in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to demonstrate a quick routine uh, for alleviating neck and back pain as well as um, helping reduce sinus and ear pressure. And uh, it'll also allow a little bit of stress relief in the process. It's really going to be helpful for use in confined um, travel spaces such as airline seats, um, potentially um, long car ride, uh, cramped seating, and um, can even use it during like a long conference um, at your chair. So um, we're starting with ear acupressure. Um, I'm using the handle of an acupuncture needle, but um, you can use a dull toothpick or you can use your finger. Um, so we're starting with um, the idea that the ear is um, a microcosm of the body. So we're going along the part that images the spine. I just use it, used a little marker to um, show you the area that we're working on. So um, this is the anti-helix of the ear, and it goes down to the anti-tragus. Um, we're starting up here. You can see this is the area before it dips into the ear. Um, it's at this little ridge here. Um, this is for the low back. Low back. You can press a few points as, as you go. Um, if you notice a point that feels especially tender, stay on there for a little while. Um, make a couple of circles. Um, this is the low back, so if this area feels tender, um, try moving your low back a little bit and turning your side to side. Just make really small movements to initiate um, the movement of those muscles, but you don't have to stretch very far. Um, as you continue down the anti-helix, this is the mid-back, upper back, and then the neck. As we come down here, this is the neck zone. And then on the antitragus itself, again, this is just a red marker, um, this uh, is the base of the skull and the brain. So this, these points around here can be very relaxing, and I would press these points um, as you're bending your neck or just moving it down and back just very slightly. You can press your head back against the um, airplane seat to um, help relieve some of that neck tension with this point. Um, so that's the spine. You're ending at the head here um, with a relaxing point for your mind and the, um, for the base of the skull. Now um, the next point, the major point that we're going to do is called point zero. This is the, called the concha of the ear because it looks like a little conch. Um, point zero is the point where uh, it's right above um, the tragus, that little bump that you can press to cover your ear, um, and you follow it into the center. So you're still on a little ridge of cartilage, you're pressing in, and it feels like right in the center of your ear. Um, this one helps to stimulate your parasympathetic system, the rest and digest, as opposed to fight or flight. So, you know, someone might think you don't want to listen to them snoring or whatever. Just let them wonder. <laughs> um, but press this point. Um, hold it for a good five seconds and make a few circles. Um, the next point, the last um, specific acupressure point on the ear is called Shen Men. Again, this one is a point that helps to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system, the rest and digest. Um, so it's stress relieving on those long flights. And again, um, if your muscles are really tight, um, stimulating the parasympathetic system can potentially help relax some of the muscles and of course reduce anxiety around travel. Um, so following those specific points, um, I like to do a little bit of gentle um, massage on the ear. I like to, you know, pull up, pull back, Follow the angle of your ear, um, so you're actually going parallel to the scalp. You're not pulling it out like this. Going back towards the back of your head and down. 
and pulling down on the earlobe and making some circles there is very soothing. Um, and actually, if you follow the back of your ear, a little ridge, the, a little valley on the back of your ear, follow it down, follow that down the ear, um, that can actually help reduce blood pressure. Um, so I like to do that and then actually press the tratus over the ear hole <laughs> um, and or auditory canal and um, hold that for 10 seconds while you massage it a little bit and, uh, and try to do some deep breathing and focusing. Um, so there's a little bit of that um, sensory deprivation of blocking everything out for a moment, but actually it allows you to provide some pressure and massage on the inside of the ear. You can follow the rest of the inside of the ear and massage along all of those surfaces of the ear and use a rolling motion to roll out in this direction. Press on all the walls of the ear in there and then just kind of rub them, make them happy, and that's the ear massage. Now for the sinus um, pressure on the face, um, I like to do uh, just a couple of areas. The eyebrow is the most important. Starting here, you can press and pinch the eyebrow along to the outer portion of the eyebrow and the temple, make some circles. Now go back to the center, press down along the bridge of the nose, and the front of the cheekbones. Follow the lower border of the cheekbones, press up against your cheekbones, and follow them out towards your ear. Um, this is going to be a, a muscle attachment for your jaw muscle. And this is another really good one for helping relax your jaw. And just do some circles there. If you um, press directly in front of your ear, that can actually help with ear pressure as well. Um, and then finally, press in your hairline directly above the center of your nose. And follow the hairline out to the corner of your forehead, the end of the forehead before it heads back um, and do a little bit of massage there. That's also going to help relieve some of the sinus pressure. Um, doing some of these movements along the hair is actually soothing again. Um, and now we're moving on to the hand. So um, on the hand, the best technique that I've found is actually just doing acupressure along the whole back of your hand. Um, there's a really big point here um, called Hagu or joining valley because it's in between your index finger and your thumb as if there's a little valley. Um, <clears throat> this point is often pressed to help alleviate headaches, migraines, sinus pressure, um, or just any pain in the body. You have to press it really hard against the bone that comes down from the index finger can also try pressing in the webbing there and seeing if you can find a specifically tender spot that may be more effective at alleviating pain. Um, but I've always found that going closer to the bone gives a stronger effect. Um, so start up at the knuckle here and move down towards your wrist. Um, you can also image the spine along this uh, metacarpal. So this is the neck, top of the spine, and moving down to the low back where the thumb and um, uh, first or second metacarpal, first and second metacarpal meet right there. So um, that's first one on the hand. Second one on the hand um, is going to be just along the um, pinky fingers uh, metacarpal. And these points right up by the knuckle are really good for helping with ear pressure um, and neck pain. So ears and neck are around the pinky and up at the top by the index finger um, for the neck as well. But the ears are really affected by these points right here. Um, you can press these 
or have someone else press these while you pull your ear, something like that can help to try to alleviate pressure. And then again, follow it down. Um, pressing towards the pinky I've found is more effective. Um, and then again, this is going to image the low back the further down towards your wrist you go. And you can try again in the middle one, a uh, couple here. Um, different people will have a different effectiveness um, of the various points. So um, for someone, this point might actually really strongly relieve low back pain. For another person, it might be this point. So you have to actually experiment with how your nervous system itself is connected to these areas. But there are very strong points for helping to uh, relieve low back pain, neck pain, head and sinus pain, and then ear pain here. Um, and of course, during any self-massage, always take the opportunity to think about relaxation try to slow and deepen your breathing and um, clear your mind for a minute and enjoy your travels. Thank you.